Here you can see I have a shirt pattern, a men's shirt pattern. You can use anything. So I just found this shirt pattern. And I'm using and this shirt pattern has got a pleat in the back of it. But what I'm going to do is get rid of the pleat because I'm tailoring the shirt to what I want. So I don't need a pleat. So the the yoke can now fit the pattern back as it ought to. As you can see, this is the back with a yoke. But I don't want to make the shirt with a yoke. So what I do is I now pin the yoke back onto the original pattern to shape it to what I want. So I get I got rid of the plea and it now fits as it ought to have. Now as you can see, my fabric is on the fold. That's why I left this. This mark in here means to put the fabric on the fold. What I have done is I featured the center fold a pattern there is a pattern here, so I've centralized my pattern to make the shirt look good. And what I did is I could I put the sleeve so that what the pattern I have at the back of my shirt, I also will have that same pattern going down my sleeve. So I folded my sleeve and I've got it uh, on the fold. But when it comes to uh, cutting this section here, I will open it up and I will give it a left and a right cut. But at the moment, what I'm focusing on is I want that pattern continuity. As you can see here, this is where it ends. So I match my stripes going up. You're there so I can cut it longer if I wish. And I think I wish. longer and here we're going to have an opening so I'm going to nip it to have an opening and at the moment this is the back so both of them are back and then I will convert it to the front now for the sleeve I'm going to make the sleeve longer so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to cut this section out first and then I'm going to slide it down and this is how you make it longer. I didn't pin it because I need to move it. Now when you are extending your sleeve to make it long, you will notice that on your pattern there's two lines here. There's two lines here, right here. If any time you're going to extend any of your pattern, that, that is what that line is for, believe it or not. Normally what you would do, but I don't like to cut my pattern, is you cut in between that line and then you move that down and then continue and then join this back up. But I don't like cutting my patterns because I, I reuse them time and time again. So what I'm going to do here now Or what I could do is draw it in for you. So now, that's where that line stops. So if I was to cut this here, Where that line is now I want to extend this so how much do you want to extend it by this is making a sleeve longer I'm going to extend this by two inches where that line is you add it in there so if you want two inches you mark it two inch from that line and basically that's what it would look like when you fold it and then you move that down two inches and that's where you extend your sleeves 
So now we can draw it in and go down to that line and continue. So I've made this two inches longer. It might be too long for my husband because he hasn't really got long sleeve, but I'm just showing you a point. So let's put this back. There, so you can see there's a mark, there's a new part, there's a mark, there's a new part. And draw this in and then we've got our long sleeves. I'm going to draw it for the moment. That's my yoke. I can determine how wide I want the yoke. Because one of them, the back, the back I want there, and the front I want it to come down roughly there I'm drawing in what I want so that's my yoke so one's for the back and one's for the front and then I'll cut it off So that's the yoke. There's the shoulder. Right. So this here is more than enough. So the front is going to be cut. So that's the front, and now I need my back. So because I've done so many of this, right, the back doesn't need to be there, so I will cut this off. There we have it. I hope you got that. So here we have it. That's the front, this is the back. And this is the front of our men's shirt. Now if you like, you could have lined it with the same fabric or you can use some interlining. So that's it. So now I'm going to stitch the shoulder up and then I'm going to, and, and I'm going to stitch the sole shoulder up here as well and we put the two together let's remove this But before I do this, I did not cut the front sleeve down. Because they're both the same at the moment, aren't they? So let's open this one up. Once again, that's the back. Oh, I left the neck tall, didn't I? 
All right then. I was going to take the, the neck down a bit more. Oh well. We'll leave the neck high. Oh, I was going to bring the neck down a bit. I can still bring it down a bit. Let's give it a bit of a shake. Yeah, I think I'll do that. I'll bring the neck down. So that's the front. And let's bring the neck down. There we go. There's the neck. And we're going to adjust the front of the shirt. You don't need to do a, a lot, so it's just a little the adjusted bra. adjusted. Right, so now we're going to stitch this up. Now I've shown you before as well, there's two ways of stitching this up. You can stitch the shoulder up first, both the shoulders. I haven't cut this open yet, I'll do that later. Actually I should do it for you now. How far did it down did I go? Yeah. Okay. So there's your man's opening, so he can get his head in. So now, you can stitch this first on the front, stitch it, and then bag it out and that's first or you can stitch the shoulder up the shoulder of this of this and put one on top of the other and then go all the way round
as you can see, that is now done. And that, and that is the inside. Now what you could do is stitch it, a pattern of stitching going around to make sure that stays. Let's draw it in. And then stitch it down. After all, this is cheese cut. I've only got white Taylor's chalk. Let's see, is that too big? It is for the bit down there, but we'll do it. Or should I do it smaller? Let's do it a bit smaller. Yeah, let's do it that size. Let's flip this around. draw something I've drawn it in but you can't see it. Let me just do a, a, a bit of a line so that you can see what I've done. Now I'm just going to stitch around that so that it stays, so that it will be perfect. I could do that in another colour as well. Let me now go and stitch this up. What I've done is I've drawn a line around here and I'm going to follow that line and stitch it and that's going to hold yoke. It's going to hold the yoke down. Before I do that, oh, I'll do it. Now, had you noticed that I have not done the same to this side? Why? Because it was waiting for this. What I now do is I take this and I stitch it I stitch this first onto the back. So let me pin it. So 
for your sake. Right, so it's pinned onto the back. Now I take the back, the yoke of the back, and I put it on top. You see, I will stitch that all in one go, but you, you will stitch that down first to make sure that you've got it right. And then you will bring it back to your table and then you will put the, the back yoke on. And you can just pretend that I've already done it. I put the back yoke back on and I pinned it. Then you stitch from there, going across, look, go take the needle, put it right in on the corner of this yoke, continue going around the neck, and then go there. Um, let me see, I can't draw this for you. Let's see if I can. So you'll be stitching. that and you'll stitch along there and you will you should match these back up actually this pattern match those pattern up yeah that'll give you a nice finish because it's all about the pattern and stitch all the way around, making sure you don't stitch this. So I'm now that we've done the hardest part, right? So it's stitched up at the top. I'm now going to the corners, just cut off the corners so that it turns nicely. Get rid of the bolt that's going to be inside. As for this circle bit here, I'm going to knit round so that it sits around the neck nice and easy. Now I'm going to put everything in its place. So I'm going to turn this through, pull this through, and then you can see the neck is now done. And that is the back. I'm going to give it an iron. As you can see, I did my best to match the yoke up with the flow of the pattern even the shoulders, I did my best to do it. So we're gonna give this an iron and then we're gonna do the same thing as that we did with the front. We stitch this bit down because this will no longer move. So let me open it up in a way that you can see it. On that because we're doing the shoulder aren't we so there's the shoulder I've overlocked it and the seam is going to the towards the back Now that we've done 
mat. We're going to do the same again. We're going to continue from where I stitched this one and we're going to sew around. I can see, I can see the marking. And that's the neck finish. So I'm going to go and pin it down. So now I'm going to go and stitch that down. And that is the hardest bit to be done. So I'm going to put the sleeves on. You don't need to see me put the sleeve on. I'll put the sleeves on. All right, then I'll, I'll show you again for the sake of this video.